are you fed up with the existing educational system and are you in search of some alternative options for getting education or for giving education to your children or relatives come discover yourself i have explained four approaches to the schooling movement or to for the schooling process put forth by some experts who introduced the schooling movement no i am going to present before you some other or some activities based on these concepts and approaches which you can utilize for discovering yourself or discovering someone related to you yes let's start Did it the thought that you can learn only with the help of a qualified teacher This is the first thing you have to do We should delete this thought that we can learn something new only with the help of a qualified teacher And you have to tell your mind that you are the most qualified person to decide what you should learn you should tell your mind if you want to be want to discover that you are the most qualified person who can teach yourself then you can go forward and you can refer and you can learn yourself So when you are going to de-school yourself, the first thing which you have to do that, without the assistance of any qualified teacher, you can learn anything in this world. Then give up the thought that education occurs only at school campus. Who told so? most of the people believe that education of course only in school campus that is a part of formal education real education of course out of school out of classroom and informal education is more important than formal education according to most philosophers just believe yourself that education can occur at any way you can learn different things from streets you can learn different things from your relatives who haven't got any sort of education you can learn different things from your friends who haven't got formal education you can approach different people and can learn different things you can learn from workers you can learn from construction workers you can learn from carpenters you can learn from different people they may not be keeping certificates bundles of certificates in their shelves but they have got practical knowledge so the you should create a belief in your mind that education can be acquired from anywhere at any moment in your life then never try to learn everything at a sudden just like it's done at school in a school we learn everything at a sudden we learn theories at a single day we would learn all the steps of a particular process maybe uh, 10 or 15 steps are there and we learn all the things by by heart but you have to take enough time for relaxing and exploring the world of skills and knowledge at your own pace 
and travel on your own shoes with your comfort. Uh, see, if your mind is not comfortable, if your mind does not feel comfort, you cannot learn anything. So instead of learning anything at a sudden, in a single day, on a single day, it just take enough time, just take enough time. You have to relax. For example, if there are 25 steps in a particular process, you may learn three steps or four steps together, then just relax yourself. Then again restart. You should decide how many days you will take for learning a particular thing. You don't, feel, you don't think he has taken three days. So I also will have to learn it by three days. Sometimes you may have to take five days or six days. So when you learn something, then you should learn it in a complete manner. That is important. So never try to learn everything at a sudden. Just take enough time for learning anything in your life. Then visit the railway station to know about trains, loco piloting, ticket reservation, railway catering, etc. Just go to the railway station. If you have to learn reserving a ticket, just ask your relatives whether any one of them has to reserve a ticket. And just go to the railway station. Just ask the person at the counter to give you a reservation form. Just look at the reservation form. If you have got some doubts, then just go to the enquiry. Then clear your doubts, clarify your doubts and continue. And if you want to know about loco piloting, the driving driver of trains are known as loco pilots. If you want to know how to drive a train, why should you look at books? Just go to the railway station and meet a local pilot. Then ask him to show how a train is driven. So this is the direct method. So it will give you some experience and you will never forget what you learn in such a manner. So go, go to the railway station. Then visit the lodge and spend time with the receptionist to acquire the skill of dealing with the customers by describing different facilities. Just go to the lodge or hotel and sit there observing the communication of the receptionist with the customers. I have got uh, some experiences. I always go to Chennai with my brother who is a kidney patient. Occasionally we go there. We always go there once in three months. And we stay there at a hotel called Hotel Arafa. The owner of that hotel is a friend of us, a family friend. And there is a person, Abdurrahman Khan. His name is Abdurrahman, we call him Rahman Ka. He just considers us younger brothers and we consider him as an elder brother. And he is the receptionist there. He was the receptionist there at the hotel. During evening time, we always would go to the hotel. Actually, lodge is upstairs and hotel is downstairs. We always go downstairs and sit there. And by observing, the behavioral patterns and the communication style of Rahmanka to the customers who come there, I have got lots of ideas, lots of things in communicating with people. He used to communicate with different people in different manners on the basis of their interest. He would speak in Tamil to Tamil people, he would speak in Hindi to uh, 
people who speak in, uh, who uh, speak in Hindi, and he would use some jokes, funs to some people, and he would tell politics to some other people. He would tell about something else to other people. So by observing this man communicating with the customers. i have got different communication techniques so you have to go to the lodge or you have to go to the hotel and just sit there observing the receptionist communicating with the customers or just go to your relative shop sit there and just watch your relative communicating with the customers then you can get some communication skills go to the logistic departments and get the techniques to keep items fresh and undamaged and get the skill of exporting items sometimes your ambition is to be a businessman and you feel that you would export items or some particular items to other countries then you can go to the logistic departments logistic department of a company is a department which performs the duty of shipping the items sending the items so they have to ensure that the items will not be damaged during the during the time it goes to the customer so they have to use different techniques and they have to ensure that the item will be delivered to the customer as early as possible and such things also if uh, if you if you wish that you if you desire that you would or you will be a businessman who exports mango to european countries from india then you can just go to the logistic department of a mango exporting company and you can just observe how they pack mangoes and what they do for making the mango remain untamaged for a number of days so everything should be learned practically that is important then you can keep collection of dvds on making different things and nowadays there is no need for collecting dvds you can just go online and you can watch videos on youtube and you can you can get different demonstration classes demonstration videos on youtube just watch and you can learn different things and most of the uh, things are taught online nowadays okay you can just google or you can just enter youtube and you can just you can just type the how to record a class effectively now as i am using obs studio for recording classes actually i was using zoom then there was some some problem because zoom can be used only on only by using internet then if there is some fluctuation in the case of internet connection then our voice will be cut now and then so i just, i was just uh, i was uh, in search of some desktop actually i had installed the obs studio in my system just for streaming live streaming because i had known that obs could be used for live stream uh, live streaming on youtube but i had no idea about recording with obs offline but before one or two weeks i just went to some demonstration videos on youtube and i realized that this one can be uh, this one could be used in an effective manner and uh, the size of the videos is very less 
So you can go online or you can collect DVDs, but nowadays there is no need for collecting DVDs. You can go uh, search on YouTube. <coughs> you can get different videos. Just watch the videos and you can learn yourselves. Then listen to online classes on your interesting topics and collect points yourself. There are experts all over the world. Nowadays you can listen to a class given by the best person in a topic, the best person related to a topic in the world. You may be in India and he may be at, uh, in America, but you can you can listen to the class given by that person. Online classes are there, online courses are there. And you can get yourselves different pieces of knowledge and skills. Then visit zoos by spending enough time to have thorough idea on each animal. For knowing about animal, animals, you have to visit zoos. And visit neighborhood homes and have casual talks so that you know how to keep contact with society. You are reading some books, how to contact, how to keep contact with society. And if you are going to have some special classes for knowing how to deal with others, how to mingle with others, how to develop our personality. Nothing like these activities are necessary. Just go to your neighborhood homes. You can see different types of people there. Just communicate with them and you can create your own ability to contact with the society. And post letters to the editors of dailies and periodicals so that to enhance your creativity as well as social service mentality. Post letters and complaints against some public interest problems or against some public related problems. Write letters to dailies and periodicals. So these are some activities which you can perform. So de-schooling promotes practical knowledge and self-learning and uh, there should be meaningful learning according to de-schooling, uh, according to the people who promote de-schooling. Mechanical learning is nothing. Mechanical learning does not give you anything. You are by-hearting something and you are vomiting all the things you have already by-hearted into the answer sheets. Nothing else is there. Thank you. Thank you very much.